गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन अनदर प्रॉब्लम एंड दिस अनदर प्रॉब्लम इज अगेन फ्रॉम हैकर रैंक स्ट्रिंग सेक्शन एंड दिस इज एन ऑन गोइंग कॉन्टिन्यूशन of the existing series so before we kick on to the problem if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and let's jump back to the problem so first let us see what it says so here uh, in in summary what it is trying to do is they will give us some test cases and they will give us some xml slash html tags known and unknown to us like h1 is known to us and this am double is not so they are re referring this to uh, xml like this is a uh, opening tag and this is a closing tag so if if the syntax of the text looks good then we should print the text out otherwise what we should do is like in this case uh, a is capital here it is not so in this case this is wrong so we will not print this rather we will just print none so this is what we have to do so this question is again related to regex but you can try to solve this out without regex also you can create some cases like switch cases to do this because there is going to be a lot of if and else conditions but with regex it is going to be really simple like this so i am going to reset this so that i can show you um like what you have to do so there is only one important line that we have to write which is the regex one so that is that is the line that i am going to create right now so what we need is we need a pattern because we are using regex so we need a pattern right so inside we uh, so th so this is a method where uh, when we provide a pattern it is going to compile to see if what we provided is a valid syntax or not so what we need is um, let me show you and explain to you what it means so what we are going to use is this so this is our opening tag and this is a closing tag right so whatever we write here let's say i write test so it has to have those exact words also right so what we will do is we will check for these tags first so what we will do is we will check for these two in our regex and we will make groups so like this is going to be our first group and this is another so for this group what we are going to do is this tag can contain anything inside right so we will use brackets to make a group and then it can contain anything right so this is our first group for the another one we again need a grouping so what we will do is we will tell that between these two tags there should not be this so this is like uh, like we should not contain this tag in between our opening and closing tag so it's like a special uh, kind of restriction that we are putting on our text field or you can say string so that it cannot have this symbol in between right now we want that this should comprise of at least one so again this is going to be an another group now what we need is for this one so this is a closing tag right again it can contain anything but it should contain what we had here so here what we will do is we will make reference of one because we want what we got in our first group so that's why we have mentioned here one so i hope this part is clear because this is the most important part and this is the only thing that we have to understand so we can paste it here and this is our pattern 
then if our pattern matches so now we need a matcher so p dot matcher so here what it will do is pattern is going to be matched with our current test case so we have test cases more than zero right so we have the current line in or uh, the string in the variable line so we are going to match it with line now what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a while loop so now it is going to use a method find to see if if we got any match or not right so if it found anything that means that th there is a ma match so if there is a match then we just have to print what we got right so here if you see if the pattern matches then we have to print whatever we got here so we created three groups this was our first group this was the third group and this is the second group so also in regex we did the same thing if you see this is our first group this is the second inside brackets uh, here right so this is just saying that it should not have this character so what we will do is now we will fetch the value in our group 2 so here we will just print So here we are just going to do m dot group right now in case uh, so we can print this out but in case it is not able to find the find the uh, uh, pat pattern matching with the line so in case a line is not getting matched with the pattern then we have to print none so now we will do that so when it comes out of the while loop we have to we have to print none in case it is not able to find so we need a boolean variable which will maintain that state so we will do uh, f uh, found equals to false by default it will be false now what we will do is now it entered in the while loop so that means that it will be true now if it is false in that case what we have to do we just have to print none So that is the entire code that we have to write. So let me just run this. So it's working. And this is the last problem from the string section. So now I will start. Uh, so it, it displayed that one, that part also that I have solved all the string problems. But again, th these, these are not strings but regex. Now I will start with big number. So that is all for this video. I hope the explanation was clear. If not, you can ask your queries in the comment section. And I will meet you in the next video. Till then, have a good day. Stay safe and bye-bye.